Miguel Evanson, and it's time to talk sports. Boy, what a busy night we had in high school sports across the Western Slope tonight, from soccer to softball and some volleyball. And that's where we begin at Fruita Monument High School, where the Montrose Redhawks were in town. Both these teams have winning streaks. Fruita winners of three straight, and Montrose has racked up four in a row. The Redhawks took set one, and here in the second, they got a big back and forth we go, but it's Maggie Legg with an emphatic kill for Montrose. Nice play there. Taken Rocco sets it nicely for Lady Contreras, and she gets the kill. It's 24 to 9. Redhawks in the second. Fruta now tries the free ball, but it's miss hit, and the Redhawks dominate set two, 25 to 9, and they go up two to nothing. But in set three, Fruta was determined to stay alive. What a kill here from Hannah Rollins. Fruta up two nothing early in the third. And here, a beautiful soft touch from Cambry Payne for the third point in a row. And you know co-manager Spencer Robbiano is amped about it. And Fruta continuing to dominate in the third. Great effort by the Red Ox to save it. But the point goes to the Wildcats. They would go on to win the third, but in the fourth, it was Montrose who put an end to this one, coming away with a huge road win. Fruta has their win streak snapped as the Red Hawks continue to string together wins now at 7-4. and four. Montrose has won five straight games. They are on fire. Both teams don't play again until Tuesday when Montrose will host Grand Junction. And Fruta heads to Central to face the Warriors. Fruta was also in action in softball tonight at CMU's field against Central, and it was a Packed house for this one. Fruta up four to nothing after two, but here in the third, Central with a nice play on defense. Wicked toss to first, and that caps off a nice one, two, three inning. Bottom of the third now, Fruta pitcher Chloe Padilla with the stuff, and a nice pitch to get the batter to chase for out number one. Two batters later, Padilla does it again. This time it's right down the middle. Caught looking, and that ends the third. Still four to nothing. And look at Fruta coach Adam Diaz bringing the energy. He is pumped about his cats. In the fourth line drive here is corralled by Allison Brunk, and she whips it to first for the first down of the fourth. Next bat, Fruta batter hits towards third, and Ella Grace Kellerby lasers it to first for out two. And you gotta love this celebration for Central. But can the Fruta offense increase the lead? Oh, yes! Captain Ava Stevens sends this ball to Denver. I mean, just look at how far that thing's go. That thing goes. Wow. Solo shot puts Fruta up five to nothing. And the Wildcats kept their foot on the gas and route to a dominant. 9-1 to one win over Central. Fruta has now outscored their last two opponents 21-1 to one after a 12-0 win over Montrose last week in this Wildcats team. Boy, they look dangerous at 10-3 now. Next up, the Wildcats will host Castle View on Friday, and Central will face Eagle Valley also on Friday. And down in Dent Delta, we had a heavyweight battle in softball, but it was the Panthers who cruised in this one, taking down the Bulldogs 9-1. And so after starting the season 0-3, the Panthers have strung together 12 consecutive victories. My goodness, and this is a good Palisade team that the De Delta handled tonight. The Panthers pretty much look unstoppable, which sounds a lot like their football team. Next, the Panthers will look to keep that incredible win streak going when they host Meeker and the Bulldogs. We'll aim to get back on track against Frederick also on Friday. And our final Grand Valley team, Grand Junction, was also in action on the softball field tonight over at Cronkright Field. And they had no trouble with Meeker cruising to the 12, the two win, and the Tigers have a win streak brewing of their own. Grand Junction winners of seven straight. Boy, they are also on fire. Unfortunately, they won't face Delta, so we won't get to see that huge clash, but they will look to keep the streak going on Friday when they face Conifer. Boy, what a busy night in sports we had on the Western Slope, but all the action is right here on Fox 4. Folks, what a time it is to be a sports fan in Western Colorado. That's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Evanson.